How can we work out the value of three to the power of nine mentally? But we're not gonna use a calculator. We're not gonna use any written method. We're just gonna do it completely in our heads. Let's have a look at how we can do this. The first method that usually comes to mind with this is multiplying three by itself. We'll have nine of those. So we'll have three times three is nine, times it by three again is 27, times it by three again is 81, working our way through the powers. But as we get up to the higher end, we've got some big numbers. There's a lot of carrying to do. It's gonna start getting a bit confusing. And if we're just doing it in our heads, we're quite likely to forget bits. So we need to work out a trick to make this a bit easier. What we're gonna do is using our rules of indices, we can see that three to the power of nine is three to the power of four, times by another three to the power of four, times by three to the one. And this works because four plus four plus one is equal to nine. This is gonna make our method a lot easier. Let's start by working out what our three to the power of four and three to the power of one are. So three to the power of four is three times three times three times three. So three, nine, 27, 81. Three to the power of one is just equal to three. Our problem now becomes three to the power of nine is equal to 81 times 81 times three. Still a little bit tricky, but we can use another trick to get 81 times 81. If we start with 80 times 80, this is a nice easy one. Eight times 80 is 64. There are two zeros, one each in the 80s, so we put them on the end of the 64 to give us 6,400. We can now change this into 81 times 81 with relative ease. So 81 times 80, that's an extra 80, so add that on, 6,480. We want to do 81 times 81, however, so that's gonna be an extra 81, which if we add on, gives us 6,561. We've now made our problem 6,561 times by three. This is probably the trickiest part of it to do in our heads. There's quite a lot of carrying, but it's not as tricky as trying to multiply our way through all of the threes. If we think of it as a three six thousands gives us 18,000, three five hundreds, gives us 1,500. We're gonna add on 180, add on three, and it will give us a final answer of 19,683. All of which is possible without using a calculator, without using any proper written methods. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.